Alright, we're going to review this outstanding product by Grass Burr Leatherworks. Uh, for a long time, um, I searched out the best possible um, avenue for carrying my pistol in my vehicle. Um, you know, there's a lot of different methods out there from just on the seat next to you under a shirt or a magnetic uh, type um, holsters, mounts, um, to some other things out there that I just thought, you know, just wasn't very secure and didn't give me the quickest access to my firearm. Um, that's when I came across uh, this. This um, this holster is the Seaburr holster by um, Grasper Leatherworks, and they really do an outstanding job um, with the quality level of their products um, and the ingenuity behind them. So we'll talk a little bit about that right now. Essentially, what this is is a pistol holster, um, and they make different sizes depending on the size firearm that you have. Um, but it's a pistol holster that has this solid brass casting on top and if you look closely it's actually sewn in here the the casting goes this far around and it's sewn in so extremely durable it can never come off um, but there's a mount or several different types of mounts that you get that the mount goes in the vehicle and this attaches to the mount and if you look there's these little teeth here right there along the side. What happens is you take this screw, comes with it, and you screw it into the other one to make sure the teeth line up. So what happens is you have this mount that you can angle it to any angle you want in the vehicle and tighten it down so that the teeth lock in and then it stays. Uh, and then when we get, I'll get to take you out to the car here in a second and I'll show you exactly what, uh, what it looks like all set up. Um, but for the purposes of demonstrating them, before we go outside, I'll you know uh, talk about all of the materials and things like that. So Seaber stands for Kudzura Burr. I think it, um, it's just referring to the uh, type of material this is. This is kind of like a nylon-ish sort of holster. Um, you've seen these um, you know at any at any gun place before. Uh, but they also have a leather version. Uh, the the original uh, is what it's called. If you're looking for something a little bit more upscale, they have another one um, that they refer to as the Sidewinder um, that just are made out of different materials. Um, but essentially, you have this one universal holster, and this holster comes in different sizes. This is the small variety, um, but they have for medium and large frame uh, weapons. But you have this one holster, and they sell a variety of different style of mounts. And when you're in the vehicle, you'll see, but I have a side mount. So that attaches to the side panel of something with the other end of this coming out this way. And then you can mount this to any degree you want and tighten it up. Um, they also have top mounts where the mount is coming from the top and comes down and mounts this way. So you can also mount it from the, from the top of something. Um, but the side mount can mount like this or like this up under the dash. The top mount uh, can mount this way. Um, it can mount um, it can mount you know under a desk at home if this is for a vehicle. It can mount pretty much anywhere you want to screw it into. Also, they have a universal mount where this bracket has a U-shaped thing that, uh, from what I understand, is really popular with things like ATVs, maybe boats where you don't have a flat surface and you need to mount it around something. Um, so, tons of different options, uh, great value. Um, this entire setup, which was this and the bracket system that I chose, which is side mount, uh, for 59 bucks. Um, the medium size is still $59. Uh, I think it goes up a little bit once you hit the large frame items. So, um, Moving along, I'll show you exactly what it looks like with the pistol. Uh, I have here in front of me, this is my STI Rogue, this is my carry weapon. You can see there's nothing in the gun, so we are safety checked. Okay. With this mounted in the vehicle, your pistol goes in, and if you look, 
um, you have this snap system that goes around the back of the pistol and you see here's the back of the snap and we're going to go ahead and snap this in like this and it's rock solid it's not going anywhere so while you're driving you don't have to worry about something happening if you were to get an accident or something to that effect but at the same time they made it uh, this uh, metal piece right here, right here they made it so that with just a flick of your thumb it unsnaps and you can pull it out so very quick access for your firearm. Uh, also, another thing that I thought that was neat that they do there is that um, you know they understand that the different laws surrounding carrying a weapon in your firearm are different from place to place. And uh, some places, like where I live, they require that the gun is concealed in the vehicle. Well, a holster with a gun and just sitting there by the dash is not concealed. So they've come out with. This, this is their concealment uh, concealment case. And essentially it's like a gun rug, except what's different is it has these two Velcro straps on top and this slit right here. So what you do before this is mounted in your vehicle is you put this through the hole, just like this. Okay, push that through, and then close these straps, okay, and then turn this back the original way, like this. Tighten that down a little bit. Alright, so, now what you have is this type of a setup. You can leave this in your car, uh, open like this, you can leave it zipped up. Uh, the way I travel with mine is it sits in my car open like this so that that way it's concealed from all sides but I can still reach down and get to it. So we'll take this out to the vehicle, we'll set it up and show you uh, show you exactly what it looks like. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned but this uh, gun rug is $20 separate. Uh, the different brass cast uh, brackets that you can get to fit all different mounts are uh, 15 bucks a piece, but the mount on all the guns are the exact same. So you can have the mount in your vehicle, you can take off your holster and take it wherever you want. You can mount it in a different area if you have multiple uh, brackets. So, really kind of a neat system. So, we're going to go out there and take a look at it. Alright, so if you look, guys, what I've got here is the top of the holster. That's what this is. You can see the holsters right here. Screwed into the bracket that's against the vehicle. Okay, this is held in by these four screws. Uh, comes with any type of uh, screw you'd need for any real s different surface. Uh, I just chose the regular screws because I just drilled into this plastic, which is just like a high impact plastic here. Um, that just helps with uh, uh, keeping it stable, essentially. But um, like I said, if you're drilling into metal or to a different surface, it comes with whatever you need in order to do that. So I'm just going to angle this to the angle that I want it at, and here's the screw on this end. And then I'm going to tighten it down. Alright. See if I can move out of the way so you can see. Okay. Uh, I'm not too crazy about this angle, so I'm just going to loosen it up some and move it downward. There we go. My car's a little messy. All right, so here it is: the Grasper Leatherworks holster uh, mounted in the vehicle. Uh, and what I said earlier about the snap and that spring is very true. I'll get in here and just kind of mark it up like that. So, can reach down with my hand and just unsnap, and then there goes my my pistol, ready to rock and roll. Okay, I'll do that again so you can see. I'm trying to work and hold the camera at the same time. So, uh, thumb right here on the inside of the snap, there it is, okay, very fast uh, access, okay, we'll come around here uh, and take a look at what, what it looks like from the side, so you guys can see. There you go, mounted inside the vehicle, and there's my seat, so you guys have a good idea what that looks like. Okay, we'll come in and I'll show you what it looks like with the concealment rug. Alright, 
So if I take this off, unscrew it. Here we go. And I put on that concealment rug that I showed you guys earlier. It'll look like this. Bear with me here for one second while I get it in there. Okay. All right, so here we go, we're locked in. And now if you live in a place like me, uh, you need to have your pistol concealed uh, in the vehicle, then this is a really great option. Um, you still have the same accessibility. Let me pick this up and you guys can get a closer look. The same accessibility, uh, it's just open a little bit right here. This is how I ride with it. Uh, right here by my leg. So if I'm in the car, ready to go, this is what it looks like from my perspective. You don't see it at all. Right here, I just reach my arm down right next to my leg, unsnap it, and I have access to my firearm. Also, if you're running into the store or something really quick, you don't want to do anything with your gun, uh, you just zip it up, and then from the outside of the vehicle, unless you're a gun person, it just looks like a little case. It could be a CD case, it could be anything. Uh, you know, unless you're a gun person, then it does look a little bit like a gun rug, but you know, uh, it's just an absolutely wonderful system. Great, gives you quick access to your firearm. Uh, while in a vehicle, but at the same time it is secure, so you know where it is and it's not going anywhere. So, Grasper Leatherworks, highly recommended, check it out.